Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. We have a very special guest with us here. Yes, the sir. illustrious Mr. X. Mr. X. You goddamn right. Let's crack into uh, another one. <laughs> TNT and X, man. I'm drunk. What? Already? I mean, I've had two of these. Two of the oh, juice okay. boys. I didn't realize. Yeah. Well, yeah. Those things are good. I thought those were Food the range energy nine drinks. Percenters. Apparently, they're not. Yeah, I will drink some nine percenters for uh for breakfast. What about one percenters? We eat them for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even yeah. sure. I don't even know what that means. I don't either. But okay, I'm, fair I'm enough. Down uh, to do it. So, Best Buy. Best, I used to love Best Buy. Best Buy. I still kind of like it. Um, yeah. they are officially stopping selling physical media so oh, like dvds and CDs dvds and... games um huh, games. i used to go there and buy games buy movies buy blu-rays oh that used to be where you had to go to get i remember you had to go there to get cds that's where you got yeah they, that I, I don't know if i doubt they still sell cds no they don't but um <laughs> So I'm like, my question, but what I thought of is like, what the hell is Best Buy going to sell? Because they got, they usually have giant ass stores and 80% well, of it was DVDs. Well, think about, think about this about Best Buy. Everything they sold, like all the different things they sold are now in your pocket in one machine. Except for like big screen TVs. And Except, washers. well, that's the thing. So now that all they have left, they have big screen TVs, but you still have screen, you have a screen in your pocket. Oh yeah. Uh, home appliances, they do sell like refrigerators, but they have very small selection. They aren't like yeah. Sears. It's a little bit. Which it, doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, but. exactly. <laughs> so TNT, why, why, why do you, why would we go to Best Buy? I don't know. Maybe if you need a new CD player for your car. Oh, they uh, they're not sell. selling those much. That's anymore. the last thing I bought from Best Buy. <laughs> Dude, does anybody even right. buy stereo systems? No, for, cars for what? Dude? How do you wait? Well, how do you hook up like your amps? Because you used to have to get like a you used to have to get a oh, deck yeah. to hook that because they have the preamp outputs. Or do they put preamp outputs on factory stereos now? Because you do I it think through... they do. I think they put them on stereo. But I also yeah. think you know. Most cars now are coming with pretty good systems. Yeah, they come with pretty good systems. I mean, you need, they don't come with subs. No, they don't come with subs. That's true. I would have to. I'm, okay, I'm going to ask this of Mr. X, and that's not because I think that you have the uh, the demeanor of a person that would notice this type of thing. But do you wow. feel like there's been less of like those thumping bass sounds that you would get like in the, like the 90s, 2000s, like earlier 2000s? You mean like in the car? Like yeah. rat rattling the trunk kind yeah, of? Yeah, where you would just hear thug? like some some thug listening to music wow. too loud and you'd be like, God in, uh, So, in so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow, I'm gonna blow TNT's mind. <laughs> I'm going to blow his what mind. What are you going to do? My mind can't be blown. I'm I had a sub in my truck. Okay. I had a bumping sub in my truck, so and? he just thought like he looked at me as like you're the guy who would complain about that. No, no fuck, fuck that. you, TNT. I, I had, I had the and sub. And I also am not a thug, and I had two subs in my car, and I would blast Weezer in it. I met a guy one time, and he was like, "Oh, you're the guy who bumps Weezer around town, aren't you?" And I was like, Weezer. "That's insane. That's me." Right? Get that, get that heavy guitar bass yeah, coming off of the it. Bass line. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm not gonna lie. White album is underrated. Uh, I, White album. I, I heard. I, I had somebody rattle in the trunk on the way over here today. Yeah, yeah. Somebody. I, I don't hear oh, really right? as much though, right like here. at stoplights and stuff. It's not as much. No, and it's you not would as much. think that in a, we live in Austin. All right, I'm just gonna keep it a buck. And you would think in Austin you would because it's like a younger city. It has like a more that college vibe to it. A lot of college students, and you would think you would experience more I don't of think that. Millennials care about base. No, that part. I, I agree with that. Like, and that I, and I think the answer is yes. There's a lot less of it than there okay. used to be. It used to be like one of those things thing. that kids would do. Yeah, like it was always like a big project. Like getting your friend that you knew the one guy that oh, you like knew all to put day a system thing, dude. it always was an all day thing yeah. it was a three hour job if you just took it to Best Buy oh but it was God. an all day we thing had to, if like, you had your friend through the do it. firewall and there was like a, an amp hook there was like a, yeah. uh, a fuse hooked to my battery and in yep. the inline you had to unscrew all the floorboards and run yep. the damn yep. cable through and the that. back and yep. I've it, done it I've, I've been there it. with that guy who could do it I loved it though I don't even think does Best Buy even work install i guess they, they still install to. cards they used stereos. to install cards. i doubt so it. that's the thing is that when i say that's the last thing i had installed i had them install i had an uh an amp i had two tens and i had a new stereo system put in my car this was my my cadillac so we're not even talking about the car i have currently but that was the last thing i had done at best buy and it was just it's it's always just crazy to me it's like doing that at best buy 
they I think they did it for free if you bought the stereo system. I think they did too, yeah. And I was always think it's like my friend who was an all day project, he would charge me like maybe like fifty, a hundred bucks at the most. But it was an all day project, but I'd rather do that. Then have Best Buy do it. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you get to drink beer. You get to, you know, you get to eat it's with fun. them. It's fun to tinker and, and yeah. like work on your own stuff. And like, I put that in there. Like, it is. His wife comes out. She's like, I made hot dogs for dinner. Because that's what that's what that friend eats for dinner. And you know it's it. like, damn. <laughs> that's what he eats for dinner. He's, he's putting in stereos and eating hot dogs. Yeah, come on. I think man. I was suggested by the wife. I think the wife was hitting on TNT. Yeah. We, that's another podcast. That's another podcast. Yeah, right. I uh, we'll look like, into it. I, I actually read in a comment on Reddit, and I don't know if it's true. And somebody's like, my friend went to Reddit to buy or went to Best Buy to buy something, and he had to take a card to the counter. He bought it, and then they shipped it to his house. Ooh. And okay. I was like, what the hell do you need a giant Kmart ass size store if you're just going to sell like Well, I think you're you're it's it's the legacy of all the the 20 year leases they signed 20 years ago. Oh, right? that, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They still like, they still got to pay those leases. So, now mm. all right, so I went to All right, so I I the last time I was here, we I, I mentioned I I got my son a uh a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, a couple of times ago I was here. And uh I bought that at Best Buy. Now I bought it online and picked it up in store because they had it in store. So yep. I walked in, they had it sitting there and I just, Oh yeah. It. Immediately. I've done that before too. At yeah. Best Buy, or so, something yeah. I went, I think that was the last time I was there. I went and I went and picked it up on my lunch break. Cause, Cause I want it like now other than looking at like cool TVs and seeing what's, what's out right now. Cause they have that new Magnolia area, at least in the ones around me. What's where, a Magnolia? Well, it's like their super high end home, aud home video, home audio. Oh, stuff. Gotcha. Okay. So it's like, we're the super fancy TVs. So it's the, like the, uh, the bows of now. Yeah. Like, like it's like all the, the 90s. all the super high end audio. It's all in a little back corner of the store. And, okay. And you can go see what that stuff is these days. And like, that's kind of fun to see. Yeah. But, well, it's nice to go in and see like an 80 inch TV, one of those ultra eight K ridiculous. And you're like, damn, that looks good as yeah, hell. Yeah. And they have some special thing that you would never watch piped into it so it looks just spectacular <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah just like and then like, you, you put like it on pelicans. tv like oh it just still just looks like yeah, tv pelicans like, eating salmon out of a fucking river and right shit. And you're just like oh my shot god like yeah like like some ultra twenty thousand k mm -hmm. yeah it's like a fifty thousand dollar camera re recorded <laughs> yeah, it that no that's, one the, uses. that's the only thing you can watch on it too because nobody else makes no uh, yeah everything else is in that old 1080p yeah, exactly. you know yeah exactly yeah no so unless I've, you want to see salmon i've been to best buy i go there the other thing they have at best buy that i like is their uh, open box buys oh yeah, yeah, like yeah when yeah, people return shit like they can go they have it in the back and or they have it kind of in a back corner you can go go through it like oh. my the stair, the my home theater system the speakers i got uh were, that's where i got them and they're like half okay. off most of the oh time. these things were like these things were like 80 percent off like it, they're kind of like uh it's like kind of like a take as is or something yeah it's right. like as is open box like okay. these didn't even have a box these were just two speakers sitting on the shelf but they were like super high-end speakers yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah, i was like i'll, I'll take hey them. i mean look if they work and they there's nothing fine. wrong with them, wrong with them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so but guy probably just realized how much he spent yeah he's like oh shit <laughs> like, oh my god yeah my daughter's quinceaneras next week <laughs> wow what i don't know it might not work it can't, can't be specific <laughs> When's the last time uh, he's making a choice? He's making a choice. Perused it's a... Best Buy. Uh, what for me? Yeah. What I, I do is I story. go there and I get all my computers and I go to the crazytown.com and leave it up. That's some good. That's, that's some good. Good. Good, uh, good uh, gorilla advertising. That yeah, is. They call Br it. Brutalist. Yep. Um, I I don't know, man. I don't really go to Best Buy for anything. There's nothing there I really want. I remember when I was in shopping for a computer. It's like, why do I? Why would I go to a brick and mortar? To, to do that when like you guys are even talking about like you've gone online and then gone to the store to pick it up that's just to kind of like expedite the whole delivery you know, process they need a window at that point just walk up outside and they're like here's your item yeah yeah, yeah. i mean it's a shame I, it's that I that's like the way it. we're going but i i mean yeah. i love it too for the convenience factor. convenience that's the thing because you go and they don't have it because yeah. i actually went to best buy to buy the nintendo switch originally like a few mm. weeks before and they, and they didn't, didn't have, have it. it yeah so i, mean, I ordered it online <laughs> they had it <laughs> me stuck. trying to get a, a ps5 and a uh the, the next generation xbox for like six months yeah i i i, I will mourn the loss of shopping because i do like going and, and touching it and playing with it before it and 
you're talking about it's, whatever it's you're an experience it's, that is becoming very uh foreign to us yeah and now we're just buying stuff off amazon which yeah, i do i do all oh the yeah time. i got like seven things to return <laughs> right now <laughs> man the fuck? Roll, roll by whole foods man just, the amazon delivery driver had to be like what the hell is going on at this house we had like six packages out one day i'm like what the hell is this guy buying half of them were mine yeah <laughs> man, it's, hey hey you know what hey so. It's the death of brick and mortar, man. I'm sorry to say. I don't know. Walmart ain't going anywhere. I can tell you that much. No, Walmart's well, well, they groceries. sell groceries. Yeah, you they sell food. groceries and yeah, and they sell a bunch of other shit. That's Walmart is 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 basically Amazon in a store. Because kind of, it's, yeah. it's the same like low level plasticky crap that you can yeah. buy, you know, of, Yeah. Of, it, yep. It's it's hard because Amazon kind of like they uh they like focused in on that aspect really I mean, all the other stores are kind of like okay we're going to kind of like change into that yeah. that whole online model but amazon kind of focused in on that early on so they saw well, they were area. ready when covid hit to do it oh yeah so yeah, like exactly. no one could go anywhere and amazon was already delivering to your house and people and then yep. all, now every other place does it because amazon just killed during covid yep. yeah and they already didn't care about their employees they're original don't compare about your employees yeah yeah exactly so. <laughs> yeah exactly they didn't even let them have seats for the first eight months yeah they're like you're not working hard enough and you're yeah. Like, yeah, they just sit on a pole you only get three water bottles to piss in a day yeah yeah exactly it's like riding a bike without a seat but it's a truck meanwhile bezos off on his yacht with his hot girlfriend <laughs> and his ex-wife who's just giving all of the money away billions of dollars yeah can we wood. deconstruct this bridge so i can get my boat out <laughs> oh sure god can. that was funny we did that episode a actually happened um but yeah, we're out of time. All right. End it. Go to thecrazytown.com. I'm Jonas. TNT and Mr. X. It's been having you, Mr. X. We'll see you next time. It's been good. Thanks, guys. It's been nice to be at the Crazy Town. I love you. Again. <laughs> we out.